not attempt to adjust your audio settings. Your system is working at optimum capability. There is no need to look over your shoulder, just relax. Breathe. It will all soon be crystal clear. There we are. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. True Horror Stories of Texas. Elise Chase Ghost Girl. Tonight's story comes to us from a local police officer and what he and a few of his fellow officers encountered during one of their late night patrols. It was the summer of 1993. I was on patrol at about 3 a.m. The usual style style is lights off, stealth mode, cruising slowly through neighborhoods in order to catch burglars. Upon checking my district schools, I noticed a door leading to the west side of the school cafeteria appeared to be ajar. I confirmed by using my binoculars. I called it out as a security check. Possible open door. Yeah, we got a 1059 over at the junior high. Gonna check out the place, make sure everything is clear. I climbed a six-foot fence, walked inside the school grounds, and witnessed the cafeteria door open. It had a wood stopper, thinking maybe it was either intentionally left that way or someone forgot to shut it. Nevertheless, I requested a backup officer for building search. Officer requesting backup at junior high school. I'm on the west side of the cafeteria. It took a few minutes for my backup to arrive, and I waited patiently at the cafeteria door. I didn't feel anything out of the ordinary or anything like that. I just thought it was probably some punk kids goofing off. What's up, Ruben? Yeah, what did we miss? I noticed this door was wide open while doing my nightly rounds. Wanted to make sure nobody was in there. Probably just a vagrant. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot more homeless breaking into places and squatting, especially during the winter. Better safe than sorry. All right. Let's split up and check it out. I'll head this way, you guys go that way. We searched the cafeteria, a hallway leading to the band hall, the gym, locker rooms, then we came into the main hallway. I checked with dispatch to see if any alarms had been triggered. Can you check and confirm if any alarms have gone off? Roger that. Nothing. I didn't see anything either. They advised. The only motion we've detected has come from the rooms you've checked. They also advised the school security guard on call with an ETA of 30 minutes so he could reset the alarm system. As we waited in the main hallway, we heard footsteps. Wait, did you hear that? Yeah, sounded like footsteps. Police, who's there? Identify yourself. Dispatch, we got a 1010. There's someone in here. Requested an outside perimeter burglary in progress. Two point, one cover team. Grouped, checked each door carefully and as quietly as possible. We heard footsteps running down the third east wing hallway. As we neared the end of the hall, we saw the exterior door chained up. The only way out would be a window at this point. There were a bunch of student desks along the wall. One of them fell down and startled us. What was that? We pointed our guns towards the fallen chair and yelled out, Police commands! As a little girl walked out in front of us. Police! Let me see your hands! Scared out of our minds as she just stood there, smiled at us, ignoring our commands. She's about 4'10", skinny, blonde, Goldilocks braids, and wearing a long red polka dot dress. Kind of like Little House on the Prairie. She stood for a few seconds, just watching us, then walked across the hallway, opened another classroom door, and walked inside. We stormed in right after her. It was a dynamic entry with, with police warnings. Come out now! Show yourself! All right, check each closet door, and underneath each desk, she's gotta be in here somewhere. There were 12 foot high ceilings and all tiles untampered. All windows locked from inside. One way in, one way out. Our buddies outside asked about our status. Hey, how's it going in there? Did you find the suspect? 
We looked at each other like, what the heck did we just see? Skeptical of ghosts, we kept checking and, and backtraced. She has to be in here. There's nowhere she could have gone or hidden. We've checked every inch of this place. Yeah, she's not in here, man. To no avail. She vanished. As we walked into the hallway point and cover this time trembling with fear, the little girl stepped out from the same classroom again, smiled, and ran back in. There we went. Dynamic entry again. We were ticked off, but scared as hell. We still exited point cover, then walked back in the main hallway. We saw a light come on from the main office and library. Thinking we were saved by the school security, but as we got closer, the light turned off. The school security then drove up, okay? and we were banging on the exterior doors. Hurry up, man! He's getting closer. Yeah. As he opened the main door and walked in, he had a smirk, and, and he asked, Which one did you see? The boy or the girl? There was a... a... a little girl. Oh, yeah. She's been haunting this school for years. The school staff and even some of the students have seen her. The little boy, however, he likes to hang out in the library, disappear, then reappear in the principal's office. That's not the only one that I've seen. I think I've seen at least six more ghosts in my rookie years, at different schools, of course. I managed to speak with one of them. My voice was clear, but his voice was like Charlie Brown's school teacher. And he did not appear on any of my cameras. You never get over that eerie stuff. Then again, dealing with drug addicts and maniacs, you see a lot of weird stuff and unexplainable things. One thing's for sure. That little girl's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's a strange one. Most kids I know that age can't wait to get out of school, let alone hang out all day and night at one. Thank you for listening. True Horror Stories of Texas. Until next time. Stay spooky, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>